It's time to get you fired up on this Friday for the Labor Day weekend. And grilling is a tradition for many of us. And our sponsor, Certified Angus Beef Brand, has some great suggestions to make your cookout a success. And we want to welcome back Chef Michael Ollier. Thank you for being with us. I'm so excited to see your tips. Glad to be here, Toddy. All right. So a lot of people like to use rubs and marinades when grilling. But what is the difference between the two? I really want to know this personally. Let's get it started by using a flank steak where we're going to marinate it. The importance of a marinade is um, twofold. We can impart a flavor and we can soften a cut that might need to be a little more tender. So this is a flank steak I picked up at Meyer, and I'm going to add a marinade to it. So I just cut it in half lengthwise so I can get marinade to be all around it. And I'll show you how I make a really quick tequila lime marinade. Sounds good to me. So let's get it started, right? So I've got lime juice in here and garlic. So two whole limes that I just, you know, hand squeeze lime juice, cloves, uh, three cloves of garlic, some oil. In this case, I've got about three tablespoons of olive oil. And then of course, some tequila. And just about a half cup of tequila. It doesn't have to be the really good stuff because we're not gonna keep this. We're just gonna use it to marinate the meat. Then, you may have seen this technique, but if you haven't, this is a cool one. You put marinade with the meat in a Ziploc bag for about four to six hours. So I've got flank going in the Ziploc, and then we cover that with the marinade. Ooh. We will lay this Left. For, in the refrigerator for about four to six hours. Then we put that on the grill. And that's what I want to show you. You know, this is Labor Day weekend, so we're not pulling out the stop. We are pulling out the grill, grilling meat, and celebrating all those people doing hard work for us, especially at the retail level, at grocery stores. So this is our flank. You notice how I cut it with the grain tati the first time, so I yeah. cut it this direction. Now I yes, want to cut I it against. That. You see, now I want to cut it against the grain because these fibers here, we want to make that as short as possible. So slice it super thin against the grain to make our tequila lime tacos. That looks perfect. So now let me ask you this. Now, I, I definitely want to try this marinade now. I have all the ingredients here in my home. But when should you use a rub and when should you use a marinade? Yeah, so a rub is just going to impart flavor. A marinade will do that plus add the addition of being, make it softer, so more tender. So this flank steak, if without the marinade, wouldn't be as tender. This way, that tequila or something citrusy like the lime will help break down those fibers and make it more tender. That's the whole idea behind okay. the marinade. Got it, got it. So now let's talk about seasoning steaks really quickly. Should I yeah. season the steak before or after I cook them? Well, seasoning before is, is a great idea. And then the, the right type, like with quartz kosher salt and fresh cracked pepper, that's all we usually do, or a rub to add more flavor. But if you want, you can add a finishing salt. And that's actually what I have here, Tati. So take a look. This is a Maldon salt. This is not to be used for the cooking process, but it's used as a finishing salt. So it's funny you mention that because that's my idea is to add a little bit of salt. It'll also add some crunch. It'll have, the, have your palate kind of salivate for this wonderful beef as soon as it touches your palate. A crunch and some That looks great, flavor. Chef Ollier. That looks great and fancy at the same time. So tell me this, what makes the certified Angus beef brand different from other beefs and when, where can people find recipes, cooking ideas, and more information? Great question. So certifiedangusbeef.com for more questions. Uh, the difference between um, certified Angus beef and other beef is really that Angus is a breed of cattle, which is a really good starting point, but only the best of those can meet our brand. So in real numbers, only three in 10 can meet the certified Angus beef brand, which is simply the best. While we're talking about it, we are so appreciative for everyone that works so hard at our grocery stores. I'm talking about whether you're wiping down carts, whether you're at the clerk counter, cashiers, or whether you're lucky enough to be in the meat department, we so appreciate everything you do. 
Awesome, Chef. Thank you so much for these great ideas. I can't wait to try that marinade myself. We will post the recipe for the Chef's Tequila Lime Marinade 